Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. Now, before you go to full screen, I should warn you, I had a full face Fraxel light laser about three days ago and my face is falling off. I mean, it's peeling. I look like I've got sunburn and I have to keep going around saying to everybody, I do not have sunburn, I've had a laser. Um, owning it. I'm going to do a whole report on it actually because I've been to see a woman called Debbie Thomas but this video isn't about that. So just don't zoom in too close and have a look at my peeling face and I promise it's not sunburn. I have not sunburnt my face for a very, very long time. I'm a beauty editor after all. This is my post-holiday bag spill. So um, there's never a better time to do a bag spill than when you've come back off holiday because it's kind of got my products in that I take on a flight with me um, and all my daily stuff. And for me to carry something on a flight means that um, it's gotta be really good. So let's just dive straight in. Okay, I should start by telling you that my bag is a very beautiful Victoria Beckham. I did not pay full price because I would bankrupt myself. Um, it was partly a gift and around the corner from where I live there's this amazing um, designer discount bag store because um, I live in an area with lots of girls who get given gifts like this and don't want them. Are they mad? So it was kind of 30% off. It was still ridiculously expensive anyway. But I love it. I've had it a year now and I thought it would mark, um, because it's slightly suede effect, and I thought it would um, crumple and fall apart and it looks amazing. And lit I have taken this around the world with me and it's been jammed in overhead compartments and under seats and it's doing really well. So thumbs up Victoria Beckham, I love it. Let's start with what's in my bag, okay? The important things, obviously. iPhone 6, business card holder, um, and then some beauty products actually. Um, because I uh, rely on serums when I fly, I've got my Environ Avance. It's a really small um, size, so it goes into that under 100 mil liquid. I mean, it's not technically a liquid, but you can carry it on the plane with you. I find before I fly, I take off all my makeup and then I apply a peptide serum. And that's the one I'm currently using. I regularly spray myself with the Cordelay. This is the limited edition Jason Wu. This is the, um, the Cordelay spritzing water. Actually, as much as I put it on my face, I spray hotel rooms and airplane cabins with it because most of them don't smell very nice. They either smell a bit fusty, musty, unless you're going super high end, or you get on a plane and somebody's eating some meal next to you or you're near the toilet. Anyway, I really love the smell of that. It's really beautiful. I shouldn't really spray it around here because I've got electronics, but oh, it's the smell of a spa, that is. I really like it. Anyway, again, a small bottle. Take with you on a plane. Uh, my favourite current lip balm, which is the Bobbi Brown one. Um, it's called, let's have a look. It's upside down. Uh, bare Pink and it's their lip tint and it's a lip balm and when you put it on bare lips it just gives you that slight intensity of your own natural lip colour. I really like it. It was perfect for the plane. Do you know what? Even when I fly business cars and somebody else is paying, I never knew, never ever use the immunity bags. I always take my own products. Most beauty editors do. Uh, two pens. Let's see, let's see where I've been recently. Uh, oh, Media Relations, a beauty PR company. I probably stole that from them and Clinique, there you go, all the um, fresh breath mints and oh my god I'm obsessed with these, these um, uh, hair elastics that don't leave um, any marks on your hair because my hair has a tendency to, the, the reason it's straight is because my hair has a tendency to frizz, not on a plane but the minute I go on holiday so I never travel without these, you might even see me vlog with these on my wrist because I forget I've got them on and I use them for working out they're just really, really, really clever hair elastics and I tend to get the light ones so you can't see them on my hair. Uh, a really good friend of mine, Edwina, uh, in Chambers that used to work with the Sunday Time Style, has this ability, she's got beautiful thick hair, to kind of put her hair in one and then it all sort of falls out and you can't see that and it's this perfect messy updo. She hasn't got rat's tails like me. Anyway, um, Tangle Teaser Compact Styler. Sorry Tangle Teaser, without the... Um, protective end on it, don't know where that is, but I would never travel without that. 
Uh, two pairs of sunglasses, actually one pair of sunglasses. I'm addicted to Linda Farrow. I've got a massive face. Um, it is really big. Look on my Instagram account when I have pictures taken with celebrities, my face is twice the size of anybody else's. So I need really big glasses. So sunglasses from the Outnet, Linda Farrow. They're obscenely expensive, but they're half price on the Outnet. Oh my God, I absolutely love a big pair of sunglasses. Um, every, on everybody else, they look huge. Um, and then actually my main glasses, which aren't even in here. Oh, no, there they are. My main ones are Linda Farrow as well. You've seen these before. I put these on on Instagram once. Somebody went, oh no, horrible for your face, Nadine. But I like them. They're absolutely filthy. Um, Mew Mew purse. I got it at um, Mr Village. My sister bought it for me for Christmas. And I just wanted a plain black purse. And then I opened it up. I fell in love with it. I'm a mad cat lady, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm a tabby cat lady. If they were tabbies, they'd be perfect, but how could I resist that? I'm not sure if it's still available at Vista, but I do like new, new leatherware. And then, I bet when you go to hotels, you, before you leave, you kind of clear the bathroom of all the amenities. Well, I don't need any more beauty products, obviously. But, oh my God, I can't resist rifling a notebook and a pen. So bad, isn't it? Um, I just love this. I've just come back from Mexico and I went to the Hotel Essencia and I just love a notepad. I do my shopping lists on it and sometimes when I interview people. I'm a real list maker. If I don't have a list and tick it off, I feel like, you know, I can't, I get those electronic emails where it goes, put it in your electronic diary. And I'm really old fashioned. I kind of want to see a list and I want to scrub it off and I want to tick it as I go through the week. And basically things like this are absolutely brilliant. If you see this video, Hotel Essencia, I'm sorry. But I loved it, it was so beautiful, I couldn't resist. Um, and then, on the other side, I've got a stash of emergency products that I um, take with me when I fly. And they're not glamorous at all. I suffer from hay fever and allergies a lot. Um, I'm allergic to quite a lot of natural bedding, down, pollen, Beckonese nose spray. This is not glamorous at all, is it? I was bitten to death in Mexico because I stayed at Eco Resorts at Antizan. Uh, Absolutely brilliant. It's an antihistamine cream that if you put on your bites straight away, hence the fact it's with me at all times, it really does nip them in the bud, but it's kind of got to go on straight away as soon as you feel that sting or you hear that buzz. But I also carry 1% hydrocortisone cream because that goes on on top of it. And that's just a topical over-the-counter low-dose steroid. So it works really well on heat rash, insect bites, rubs, sores, anything like that. Basically, it just uh, tells the skin to calm down if it's overreacting to something. Uh, I always have a tube of that handy somewhere around. Always when I fly. What else have I got in here? It's a bit embarrassing, really. This is really honest, honestly. I didn't even clean this out and set this up first. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Rennies, because I, um, I can't bear to be sick and they calm my stomach. Brilliant, they don't suffer from an acid stomach at all, I just find they're really good anti-nauseas. Um, Pro Plus, because I suffer from appalling jet lag and I don't really drink coffee. And when I land and it's three in the morning and I've got to get up and get through the airport and find my luggage and get through customs and get to a hotel and meet and greet and all that sort of stuff, I go straight to the source. I have really, really low blood pressure and so caffeine kind of just gives me that little bit of energy. Um, Oh my God, my dry skin relief. I love this, sorry, it's so messy. It's a really beautiful packaging. I love La Roche-Posay, but it's got a slightly sort of suede effect. And what happens is it just gets filthy. It's been in my makeup bag, that's why it's that color. Cicoplast B5, that's that. You get on the plane and no matter how much you've protected your skin, your shins start to go all dry and scaly. Brilliant, your face, dry and scaly. This is what I'm sleeping in at night with my laser peel off face. I really love that product. I've Instagrammed that before. What else have we got in here? Oh, not only do I suffer from nausea sometimes with food, I suffer from bloating on planes too. Can we own this? Does everybody's stomach bloat on planes? The healthier I try to eat, the more vegetables I eat, the more my stomach bloats. Ready Deflatin. It is not an antacid, it's a silicon that goes into your stomach and bursts the big bubbles so that they can be politely expelled up. 
I don't think it really works down. Anyway, I never travel without those. Oh, this is really owning it, isn't it? And also another anti-aging lip repair, which is by Epionce, which I really like as well. I didn't actually know I had two in there, but um, that's one of those ones that uh, you can kind of use on elbows and um, shins or suddenly you look down and your heels are really dry and you slip in your sandals and it's a bit embarrassing you can put that on there as well so it's, that's more of a multi-purpose balm um, oh I'm very unglamorous to go with my uh, nose drops I use um, Otrovin Antistin anti um, histamine eye drops that's not very glamorous is it well apart from my amazing sunglasses which are super glamorous on which I got half price on the app now I wonder if they're still there anyway that's it one empty, oh, another pen. Who have I stolen that from? Oh, it's unbranded. Oh, no, it's not. Estee Lauder, there you go. I am an inveterate notebook and pen stealer. They actually are given to us at launches, but um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and the funniest thing. Okay, so when I got back from Mexico, I went to the AbFab party and um, the launch, I can't wear these glasses, this is ridiculous. I went to the AbFab premiere and I'm gonna see if the other half is this. And then we had Abfab cocktails and I didn't drink the cocktails because I was working the next day. So I didn't want to drink the cocktails because I'm such a lightweight date, I can't tell you. I can't drink at all, I'm useless. It doesn't get any older thing. Anyway, there were two parts to this and I've lost the other part. So the cocktails had attached to them a fake 20 quid note with, I had to steal it with, with Eddie and Patsy on it, stuck to a tiny little bag of sherbet, which was obviously made to look like a drug, onto the top of the cocktail. GHD created them for us. Anyway, the sherbet's long gone missing. I can probably ate it actually. Um, but I, I'm gonna keep that forever because as a memento, I just loved it. I lived through the 90s and the noughties when I was first training to be a journalist and it was a bit out fab to be honest, not at all like that anymore. Uh, we're all a bunch of green, well I'm not, green kale drinking on the bandwagon, hard working, uh, multiple digital influencers now so we don't have time to have fun. Anyway, that's my bag spill. Um, let me know what you think of the products I've tried or if you've tried any of them and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to do because I've got some things coming up. People want to know about the work I've had done, what works, what doesn't, what lasers work, what lasers don't work. Botox, all that sort of stuff, and I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna own it, especially when my face has stopped peeling off because I've just tested this for Hello, but also for you guys. Sorry, dust coming out the bottom of my bag. Um, and uh, a fake tan one, because people wanna know what fake tan products I use, and I'm actually a bit useless at doing my own fake tan. And the other one is um, how to get rid of red, bumpy chicken skin. I recently did something on Instagram about that, and everybody was super interested, so I'm gonna do a piece about that as well, because everybody I've met who ever has it, I have managed to cure it, not me personally, but by researching it, asking the advice of experts and finding the maybe three or four or five products that actually work. So I'm gonna share that too. Subscribe, ask questions. I promise I ask, answer every question personally um, because that's how we're all gonna become the beauty you know it all. Share that too. Subscribe, ask questions. I promise.